How is it every single time I start a Lemmings Let's Play, there are also contest levels to play as well? I don't know, but hey guys, Color Forty's back for some Contest 13 levels from the Lemmings Forums. Praise be to God on this amazing day. So for those of you who don't know how these contests work, basically, there are three different rules and people get to submit up to two levels. Uh, so they can do one level per rule, so two levels in total. There are I said this wrong. So there are three rules. And you can submit one level per rule. You can't have two levels for one rule. But you can only submit two levels maximum. So you can't actually get all three levels, one for each rule. But you can get two levels in the pack. So I've entered this, and several other forum members have entered this. And I'm going to play them, give some feedback, and at the end we all vote on which one is the best. And whoever wins gets a prize. So that's pretty cool. So, I actually was the one who uh, decided on the rules for this contest. So, rule one is you have to use tile set mixing in some regard. And it needs to be obvious. It can't just be like, oh, I made like a dirt level, but I used a brick hatch. It's like, no, that's not going to cut it. You've got to clearly show that you've used uh, quite a bit of at least two different graphic sets. Rule number two is you need to make a level that has at least two distinct solutions. So that's pretty cool. Then the rule free levels, you've got to use tile sets that were not included in any official games. Or if you were playing the Licks, then you can't use any of the default tile sets for Licks. So anyways, enough of that introduction. We're going to actually start playing the rule of one levels. This is the rule that I did not submit a level four. So we're on level one, the Mobius Space Race. 100 lemmings, we can have to save 90 of them. This is a Flopsy level. Oh boy. I've been playing Flopsy Seblems pack, so I'm excited to see what this is. And it looks like we got Scrap Brain and uh, Starlight Zones from the looks of it. Interesting. And there's Eggman. Is Eggman a trap? No, he's not. Okay. Interesting. Ooh, I like the music. We've got quite a few skills at our disposal, which is very nice. So they're all nice trapped. Huh. This music sounds familiar, but I can't quite put my finger on what it's from. Is that a trap? No, that's not a trap. Oh, interesting. I thought that would be a pass for Walker. Guess not. Whoa, this music is crazy. I like the architecture on this level though. A nice use of the space background for Mormons plus four. All right, cool, they're all held in now. So I'm going to focus on the upper hatch first, I think. I'm liking this level because it doesn't look like it'll be super hard. Which the contest levels tend to get very hard. Oh. That's a trap, and there's no way through it. Well, that makes it a lot more difficult. Is that going to be splat height? No, it's not. Cool. Nope. There we go.
This music sounds so familiar. I can't put my finger on it, though. Alright. It looks like we're not going to be able to save these guys until the lower hatch makes that not splat height. Oh, actually... Wait a second. Alright, so I kind of want to build up to that wall and bash through. I just want to be judicious with my builders. Oh, no floaters, actually. Oh, oops. Well, that's okay. Oh, and we're timed. Oh, we're timed. Good on, good for Flopsy. Well, looks like we'll have to do some multitasking then, I guess. You know what? We're going to use a special little tool I learned about recently from Flopsy. Overriding the re uh, the replay button. If you push W, that replay will change to a blue. And in addition to doing everything that the replay already does, you can also add new stuff to it. So my upper guy's just gonna go to town. There we go. That'll turn him around. And he can, well, do a thing. Okay, that's still splat height, though, so that's a bit of a problem. Okay, all right. Yeah, let him have it. <laughs> I don't want to screw up my other replay. I hope I don't run out of builders, because I'm going to use one there, and... Yeah, I'm going to run out of builders. That's a problem. Huh. 
her. So this guy's loving 14, apparently. Sorry, but we gotta overwrite some stuff. That'll stop him from splatting. Now I gotta figure out how to get these guys up here. Oh, I've got an idea. I know! I know! First off, you guys can go. Time for the digger staircase, y'all. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Oh, wait a second. I went too far. There we go. Yeah, because that's two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. There we go. That gives them a nice way up to the exit. I want them to just barely build up to the top, so right there should be good. Now, if all goes well... Oh, that's right. Duh. Yay! That should let them all go to the exit. That was a very good level, Flopsy. That was really awesome. Nice use of both the Sonic tile sets as well. Come on, little lemmings. Also, please tell me what the music was that you used for this. And goodbye, little blockers. Thank you for your service to your country. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. Not super hard, but challenging enough that it uh, stretched my brain a little bit. I like that. Very well done, Flopsy. Very well done. Next rule one level is the excavation site. Ooh, by Nessie. Nessie makes hard levels. <laughs> so this will be fun. Also, Nessie's uh, kind of new to the forum. So hi, Nessie, if you're watching. Love your levels. 80 lemmings, and we can kill one. So this looks like a dirt mixed with the machine tile set from Lemmings Plus 5. That is not at all what I thought was going to happen, but it looks very good. Ooh, and it's got Pokeball's Cannon. I don't think Nessie put in custom music for his, uh, level. Limited skills, too. Are those, is that fire? What the heck is that? Maybe updrafts. So for those of you not familiar, for the machine tile set, for the machine tile set, everything's steel pretty much. All right, except the rusted bits. All right, so probably use the miner there, and maybe one or two builders there. And climb. 
up. There's no floater, so we'll have to find a way to, uh... Yeah, we could probably bash into that wall. Oh, there's even convenient... A convenient vine over the exit, so we could bash her there. So I'm, sh I'm basically trying to work backwards, so... Basher there. Basher there. Climber. That leaves us with one basher. And that'll be used there. Okay... It doesn't look like we'll need a lot of builders, so... I'm not super worried about them. Because, let's see, we're going to need a builder there. So we have three builders left. One... Uh-huh. I think I see the problem now. I think it's this beginning part that's going to be a bit tricky. Because we're going to need one digger there. And that's all I can think of where we'll need the diggers. Oh, actually, wait a second. I think we'll be taking the underground path, actually. That is not what I wanted to happen exactly. Well, we can make that work. Are there still two diggers going on? Hope not. Yeah, there's still two diggers going on, okay. Darn it. I'm trying to get the double digger working. Do they still land on top, though? They don't. That's a problem. Okay, where else are we going to need a digger, though? I don't think we'll need another digger. Oh, wait. Oh, wait a second. New plan. Okay, here we go. I think that's all the diggers we're gonna need for the level. Except maybe here. Oh, I see.
Okay, so we do need to build at the start. There we go. So my plan right now is they dig down there, bash, and there, should, there will be a builder. Uh, this guy will be waiting with a builder to help them. Actually, will that work? Yeah, yeah, that should work. So we will have to bash before we reach the tip of there. Right there. Oh, I see. Here we go. This is the problem. We should probably get two climbers over there. All right, new plan. You two will fall down the pit at the start. You're gonna bash for there. You're gonna start digging. Once he gets through like that, we're gonna make him build. And we repeat this digger uh, staircase from last time. There we go. Now we can max out the release rate. These two guys will cl start climbing upwards. You will build there so he can keep on going, whereas this guy is going to dig. All right. Yep, they bash for there. So now he can continue climbing up to the top. So now they will be nice and trapped in that little area. Oh no, I see the problem now. Because they need to bash for there, but he needs to bash. Oh wait, no, he's got a builders. What am I doing? What am I even saying? Oh, well, this might work. I didn't think about that steel pole in the way. This, I think, is going to put... Wait, who's burning up? Oh. Yeah, the climber burned up. That makes sense. Okay, the plan kind of went awry. Oh man, this is a tough one. Alright, I don't think we can afford to use that many diggers at the start. However, we had an abundance of builders left over. So how about new plan? New plan is do this. Okay, new new plan. Two guys go forwards before we need them to be a climber. Here we go. This should work. This should work. This is a very good level, Nessie. Even if I haven't solved it yet, I can just tell the solution is going to be pretty cool. 
Alrighty. So that climber's stuck. Cool. Good for him. So now, let me think what I need. I need a builder to get there, builder to turn around. I need them to dig and then bash. Then I need them to... Maybe I don't. Maybe I can just mine them all out like that. They at least need to dig and bash once. That's going to be a bit of a problem. Because I need... I need them to bash, dig, bash, I think. Yeah, we need them to bash, dig, bash. So I need to save a basher that I'm using somewhere. Oh, where? The only basher I use is to get through the log. And, like, that would take too many diggers to get through the log if I had just did that, as well as builders. Unless... Are you saying we need to dig and then do, like, a little... bash alicious kind of thing where we bash through a second bridge? That could be it. But in that case, that's gonna be pretty... tough, because... Okay. Three guys go up at the start. We'll just space out who gets to be a climber. No, 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 that is too far digging. I hope this works. That's taking too many builders now. That's taking too many builders. Because I'm going to need... One... One, two... Three... Four... Yeah, that's too many. Well, I'll see if I can try to salvage this anyways. Because I'm trying to figure out, do I mine there, or do I mine here? Because if I mine there, I'll have to find a way to stop him once he's mining, so I'll need to use a builder for that. But that might save me a basher. Actually, yeah, hang on a second. Quick test. How close can I get? Oh! I could do that and spare a basher. Okay. So I'm going to need one basher there. two bashers there. So that means I'm going to have to find a way through the log that doesn't require bashers. Diggers, maybe? Except, hang on, I'm going to need one digger. One, two, three. So I'll need three diggers, so I have one to spare. Now, builders. This is the tough one. I'm going to need one, uh, two, three. 
three, four, five. So I've got one builder to spare. Huh. That log right there, that is causing me some serious problems. Hmm. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm close though. I feel like I'm at least kinda close. One sphinx for sure. We definitely need to get through there. And we will have to build. Oh, and then after we build, we're even going to have to find a way to get into the exit after that. So that could be where my last digger is used. But in which case, the question is how the heck do we get through the log? out of the pit. No, we definitely cannot do that. Bobber. The architecture is fantastic, though. Huh. This is a tricky level. Make no mistake about that. It's very difficult. Save a digger at this jar. Not enough, though. How do I get for that stupid log? Perhaps I made a wrong assumption about where the miner needs to go. Well, that happened fast. I can't believe I didn't think of that, but that'll help. Now, what I'm thinking is maybe I need to use the miner to get through there, as opposed to two bashers. 
That's just what I'm thinking. Maybe I need the free. Because let me think. Can I get across this gap in one builder? I can! Well, well. Well, well, that's very interesting. If I could bring a third guy along, I could use a digger there and build a cross. Ah, no, I'd be one skill short again, because I wouldn't be able to stop the digger. Because I was thinking if I build a cross, I could just dig down a little bit and then make him stop. But I'd have to use a builder to make him stop, and I wouldn't... I won't have enough. Because I will need the builder to get across there, and then the builder to get up there. Yeah, but that's not enough. I, of course, could mine through there, but I'm now pretty sure I'm going to need the miner to get through all of this. Alright. Quick test. Stop him from splatting. Okay, the miner wouldn't even work there. So it, we will need two bashers. Or at the very least, a basher and a miner. Okay, I have spent enough time on that level. I will take a rain check on that and try the next one, I think. Level 3, Frozen Factory. Oh, it's by Nintendo Addict. I have actually planned a level called Frozen Factory for Art Limbs. Maybe not anymore. Well, we gotta save everyone, so... This looks like the... 
Lemmings 2 Polar set and the Machine Tile set. Pickup skills, eh? So that, wait, there's fire and there's water? That seems a bit like overkill. Um... So I'm guessing what he wants me to do is get all the pickup skills so we can platform to the exit. That's what I'm guessing, at least. But we gotta save everyone. That's a little weird. Well, they all walk straight to safety, so that's always, that's really nice. <coughs> so, step one. I figure we'll take it step by step. So now we get the floater, so that's kind of nice. And now he climbs about. Who knows, maybe we can climb up out of there with a builder. We got 15 builders, which is a lot. platformer. Ooh, that's very nicely designed. Now then, sir. Yes. I'm liking the level thus far, Nintendo Addict. Hold up. Hold us a second. It can't be this easy, can it? Wouldn't we have enough builders to save them and go to the egg? Yeah. Actually, wait. Hang on. Boop, 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 boop. Go back in time so we don't get that stupid platformer, because I don't think we're going to need it. Especially since I, have, I literally have 15 builders to do as I please down here. Yeah. I think this is a big back route. I think that is a gigantic back route, Nintendo Addict, but <laughs> I did it. That's the, that ends the breaks. Level 4, Cataclysm by Ray Manny. Oh man, this looks awesome. This looks really awesome. We can kill one, I mean. This looks so cool. This is like the kind of level I want to make for Art Lens. This is so awesome! And I just realized I think I'm reaching like the 45 minute mark of the video. Maybe I should have called it quits. Maybe I should have called it quits. Alright, six platformers. That's very generous. Oh man, oh man, this is going to be hard. Oh, but we do have, oh, we've got 10 climbers though. Oh, well, maybe it won't be super hard then. 
I didn't realize we had 10 climbers. And we can kill them, I mean, so... Now remember that we don't have floaters, so I'm gonna have to... Wait for a bit. Oh man, this level lags. That should no. That's not gonna make him splat. But that would. That would. This is really awesome. This is really awesome. This level lags so much that it's hard to tell when it's... This is fast forward. This is fast forward. Fast forward is no faster than non-fast forward. Because he's mixing the dirt tile set, the rock tile set, and the marble tile set. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're gonna bring one other guy up. Let him get a head start, and then we'll bring everyone else up. Okay, this is amazing. Really well done. Because now we're gonna have him hit the blocker, turn around and build over this gap. And now everyone climbs up to the exit. That is such a cool level, Ray Manny. That is really awesome. Oh, and he mixed the crystal tile set in there as well. That is so amazing. Again, you should be proud of this level because even if it lags, that doesn't really put me off all that much. I love just how pretty it looks. And the solution's really cool too. Oh my gosh! Well done, well done, well done. That was beautiful. And that is all the time that we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We will start the Rule 2 levels. Or we might go back and do the Licks level. We'll just have to wait and see. Have a great day, and God bless.